next job uh, is to make the frame for the wall that's going to be at the end of the shower tray. Um, we need a wall here so that the door has something to fix to as well as this far wall as well. As I say, I'm only going to make the frame. Uh, I can't uh, finish it off and fix it to the wall until we've plasterboarded and tiled so I know exactly where we're going with it. I may be able to fix it once, once we've just plasterboarded it, which may be a better idea. So I'm going to build the frame. It will attach itself to this wall here where the door is. I will have one or two shelves on there for things like towels and, and whatever else. So yeah, I'm going to go cut the wood. I'll bring it in and uh, start putting it together. Catch you in a bit. Well, that didn't take too long. Uh, I've pinned it with a screw um, against that beam, uh, just temporary, so I didn't fall over into anybody or break anything. Uh, there's going to be more supports coming down here, and uh, obviously it'll be plasterboard at both sides, probably tiled both sides as well. I uh, made it double thickness because I want to put a tile there, and the tiles we've got, a tiny thin tile of about two and a half inches, just wouldn't look right, so I thought we'll make it a bit thicker, a bit chunkier, and you'll get a nice impression of the tile. So that'll do for today. It's probably about half six, seven o'clock, time for something to eat. And uh, back at it again tomorrow. Tomorrow I've got to put a, the hole through the wall downstairs, uh, which should be a big job. Uh, it's about two foot thick. Uh, I've got to get that done because I'm going to get the pipes in for when Mark comes on Friday to uh, wire up all the tank. And then we'll know if it works or not. At the moment, we don't know. We've been told he does. Uh, if not, there's another few hundred quid out of the non-existent kitty. Poor kitty's taking the right hand in just lately. So, uh, yeah. Okay, that'll do for today. I'll catch you next time. Cheers, everybody.
well, that went through easier than I thought it would, uh, which is a good thing, good start to the day. Uh, it didn't come out in the place where I expected it to. Uh, very difficult to calculate because these rooms are all offset in it. You can't get an exact measurement, but I'm quite happy with it there. Um, I would have liked it a little bit lower down, but what I'll do is I'll take this platform away that the water stand, uh, well, sorry, water heater is gonna stand on and take the bricks away from below there. Uh, so then the pipes can come from underneath. So not a problem as ever, we always get round any problems that come up and there's plenty of those. So right, I shall remove this um, plinth and then start taking the bricks away from this side. Catch you in a while. Well, I've got to say, I'm very pleased with the way that went. Uh, probably took me an hour, hour and a half, something like that. It's only 11 o'clock now, and it would have been about half past nine when I started, so that's not bad going. It's not so much getting the stone off the wall, it's what's in the middle. Uh, it's rubble, soil and everything else, and as you're trying to go through, more and more stuff keeps falling down, but it wasn't too bad here. So, I'm through the gap. I'm just going to go off to Brico Depot, uh, get some joints so I can connect the new system to this, and the waste pipe and then uh, tomorrow we can have running water in there first time in just over 200 years uh, right see you later morning everybody well today i'm pretending to be a plumber again uh, i need to get all the pipes <coughs> water and waste in from the uh, jeep into this kitchen uh, as you saw the other day, I uh, made the hole in the wall, I had to uh, make it a little bit bigger this morning. So it's uh, all ready to go. So I'm going to try and get everything in, starting with the waste pipe, and then get in the uh, hot and the cold pipes in as well. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long, famous last words, but hopefully it won't because I want to con uh, continue with the, uh, the bathroom upstairs. So yeah, let's get on with it and uh, see how we go. Catch you in a while. Right, well, I'm going to do a, a dry fit first, get all the pipes cut to size, all the joints in the right place, 
Um, once that's uh, sorted and I'm happy with it, then I shall uh, glue them together and then I'll start on the water pipes. Okay, let's have a go. I have a stone that's standing about half an inch too high and uh, he's not allowing the pipe that's going to go to the washing machine uh, a straight line or slightly up um, the water would have to flow uphill and he don't do that very well so I'll just try and remove this bit of stone here probably mean I'll have to remove about 20 stones Right, well I've just saved myself a million pounds because I was about to say I put a million pounds on it that we don't have any brackets and I found a bag for. So it's sometimes best to keep your mouth shut, which has been the story of my life really. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to glue it all up, put the brackets in place, fit it and leave it and then that's sorted. I won't go across up to the sink because uh, I don't really know where those pipes are going to be but this will uh, work for now so that's good it's done okay a bit easier than I thought actually okay let's get it done perfect so uh, that will probably be a little bit longer and then the Washing machine as when we get it, the waste pipe can go in there and straight out to the uh, the drains. Okay, onwards and upwards. I'm going to bring it round here now for the sink, which should be relatively a lot easier. I've also got to take into account that when the water tanks on here, it has a like a an escape uh, valve. If any pressure builds up, and it can then release the water. And that needs to go in there as well, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put that in as we go along. Okay, let's go. So this is the uh, release valve or reservoir, whatever you want to call it, that comes from the tank out and then we'll join up with this piping that I'm putting in now. I can't really uh, put anything in place until the tank's in place uh, because uh, I don't know exactly where it's going to be. So what I'll do is I'll bring it out, take it across and it's up as if it was going to the sink and uh, there were marks, done the electrics, we put it in place, I'll then cut the pipe and uh, put a T-joint on it. Okay, let's see how far we can get now. There's always some little thing that stops you from just getting on with it and finishing a job. It's always a two or three day bit of work. Anyway, let's have a look.
So yeah, what I'll do, once we know where this pipe comes, I'll put a joint just about here somewhere, cut this a couple of times and uh, fix it on. But uh, until the tank's upright, I can't really work that one out. Okay, so we're almost there. Well, I've gone as far as I can with this. Um, I've got the pipe in, the waste pipe for when there's a washing machine here. I've also got a uh, pipe coming around here, which will eventually match up with the sink. So uh, until Mark's been and the water's connected, I don't really want to do any more because uh, as I say, I've got to put a joint in here and I don't know where that's going until we've got the tank up and running. So, uh, yep, yeah, on to the next job. I'll be back to this though. Cheers, everybody.